on Wednesday, January 18th, banners were hung by unknown persons on the west side of Sather Tower and the north side of Eshelman Hall. People walking through Lower Sprawl commented on the banners and their possible relationship to the Occupy movement. I think it's just like a, a real like big slap to the face to, to the Chancellor, really. Well, I gotta say I agree with that. It, it caused aware, it, um, you know, incur awareness, so which is good. I think it's inappropriate. I'd say it accurately like reflects how they feel, but it doesn't give any justification for why they feel that way. And I think that's like an essential like element that's missing from it. All I see is somebody basically shouting a profanity at somebody in a sense by having that sign out there where no one else can um, interact in a dialogue about it. I'm not sure exactly what they what they want out of this, but just to get people's uh, to to think maybe just to think and see that you know what people don't agree with everything that he does. You just saw two police officers walking in there looking to see the manager of the building and then get the keys. So hopefully it'll come down soon. And I would hope the chancellor doesn't have to see it. I believe he's an honest and uh, objective man as much as he can be within a highly political environment such as the University of California. Witnessing the Occupy movement I feel like was a really eye-opening experience, you know? Because I, I mean, coming from like a different like uh, yeah, I'm from a small suburb. We go back to our daily lives wherever we live and we kind of just leave that here instead of continuing to portray what the what the message was and you know uh, spreading it to to uh, other communities and back home wherever we wherever home is. Reporting for the Daily Californian, this is Kelly Fang.